everybody, I'm Lisa. I'm Kelly. And we are the Nerd Herd. And tonight we've been sitting here all afternoon and Kelly decided to tell me about a series called The Most Popular, Popular Girls, Girls in, in School! School! Yes, I don't think I'll ever be the same again. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, you want to explain what it's about? It's about, well, The Most Popular Girls in School. Yeah, it's kind of like, for me I find it very much like South Park. But it's, it's done in a different way, isn't it? It is. It's done with uh, Barbie dolls. So, um, it's on YouTube. So check out YouTube for most popular girls in school. A uh, uh, oh, word of caution or note, it is... Adult. Yes. So basically what it is, is actually a show that's been created with stop-start motion uh, animation. And you said it was based by a comedian? It was. Um, I can't think of the comedian's name, but he actually stood on stage in drag. And wow. did the skit. Okay. So these guys decided, you know, why don't we create an actual, like... It's, the first one's only, like, two and a half minutes. Yeah. And the whole thing is, it's just basically about three girls in a bathroom. And, you know, this new girl turns up, and she's just like, fine, you know, I'm the new girl, I don't care about you girls, I'm going to come here and use your bathroom. It's a bit more crass than that. It can get really, like... Full on. That's why I say it's like South Park in the fact that, you know, there's quite a lot of swearing. There's a lot of swearing. Um, it, it does have some pretty... has a lot of toilet humour. Yes. Quite a lot of toilet humour. Yes. And also, too, there's quite a lot of pop culture references within this as um, well. Yeah, one about Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, we also get quite a lot of Ben Affleck. and uh, Ben Affleck. It's um... kind of like a bit like Mean Girls as well. Did you find that? Yeah, I found it sort of like Mean Girls, but not really, though, because... Mean Girls had a, like a, a social, a very different social standing where they seem to be all sort of all on the same level. Well, yeah, they're just basically all the popular fuckwits who decide, pardon the French, who decide to swear at each other. Well, that's basically what the show is. The f bomb is used quite a lot. Um, the C word does come into it. I will be honest with you there in it one does. episode quite uh, quite recently. So if you do have little girls, please don't let them watch this. Yeah, it, it's not made for children. Even though it's made with Barbie dolls, it's not made for little kids. It's no. made for adults. It's yeah. adult humor. It's extreme adulthood. I, I compare it more to, like, Adult Swim. It's like, yeah. you know, like, Robot Chicken, I think, would be the closest thing. Yeah, I think so. Um, well, with the stop-start animation and all that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, and the adult thing as well. Yeah. But what I found about it was, like, the, for me, because I... I hadn't seen it before, and Kelly's like, you've got to watch this. To start with, I was, like, a bit confused, and I'm thinking, what's going on here? And then I actually did quite get quite into it, because I, a lot of the humour was hilarious, but at the same time, I remember my experiences at high school, and actually, there were girls that actually did carry on like this. Yeah. Um, yeah, there were. And, and um, yeah, there were actually girls that carried on like that, but I don't think to that extent somehow. No. No, they're more of the more the rough girls, or the yeah, popular ones. No, no. And the whole thing is, is that like the main like three characters are extremely egotistical, extremely self-centered, and if anything, they're just they have no insight into anybody else. No, I don't think, at all. not really, and not really. They're just out for themselves. Yeah, I think Britney's my favorite. Yeah, and that's Britney's Lisa's, hilarious. Yes. Britney is uh, Lisa's favorite. Well, she's the blonde, of course. So yes, <laughs> she. I don't know. Everything's F, you know, and it's just like, but she's just so. Yeah, she's I, just so to the point. I think that's what I like a lot about her. I think my favorite character would have to be Rachel. Uh, oh, Rachel Weiss. <laughs> Rachel Twice. Twice, that's Twice, it. Yeah. But not her, but her sister. Oh, yeah, the Dario character. The Dario character the for Dario me. The Dario character. Would definitely have to be uh, my favourite, even yeah. though she's not shown that, that much. Um, she's one of my favourite characters in that. The one thing I like about this show that it actually, like, there's quite a lot of home, home of homosexual humour in it as well, but it's not actually, it's not actually making fun of gays. It's no. actually, it, it's not attacking gays. No, it's actually defends defending. gays yeah. quite strongly in a funny exactly. way. In a funny way, yeah, they actually do really defend gays. Yeah, and like they point out like what homophobia is in a really in a kind of a passive aggressive way. Yeah. I think that's why I like it. Yeah. You know, and it really shows like how our, how how society has changed a lot as well. It has. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, it does. It it shows now that um although they still have these cliques like 
as you see in the boys' locker room. Yeah. Because we still have the uh, football. Yeah, they have like the football team and then they have like the cheerleading squad. Yeah. So, so basically, that's what it's about. It's like the football team and the cheerleading squad. So you still have the cliques, but. And the Van Ruin family who are just. Van Bruins, yeah. The Van Bruins are just hilarious. It's like the Kardashians. It's like taking the piss out of the Kardashians, really. Yeah, yeah, it that's is. That's the best way of describing the Van Bruins is the Kardashians. Yeah. Like, because you've got the three sisters. Yeah, but they're all different ages. Though. Yeah, so are the Kardashians. Yeah, but... And they got the mother. Who's pregnant again. And who's a drunk. <laughs> and pregnant. <laughs> psycho. So, you know. <laughs> it's um, funny, though. I will be honest with you, though. Quite a lot of laxatives and, and toilet humour are used yeah, in this. It, um, it, it is. Yeah. Um, how did I come to find it? My yeah. sister. <laughs> Kelly's younger sister found it. Oh, and she said to me, you have to watch this. And yeah. I was like, okay. So I... It's a bit like a car crash to start with. You know yeah. how you look at it, you can't Not look away. Way. But to be honest with you, I am glad I watched it. There's only 16 parts. Yeah. But now it's got so big that the three main girls have Twitter accounts. The oh. three main female characters and have Twitter you accounts. Would, you would be happy to note, though, your uh, Britney character has her own page. I know. She even has her own Facebook yeah. page. And they have, like, T-shirts and bottles, like, water bottles and underpants <laughs> with, like, catchphrases on them from the show and it's basically made by two guys and they even like have done like a behind the scenes thing yeah. um in a in a coming episode of the nerd home hopefully we can interview the creators yeah, exactly. of this insanely wonderful yet random disturbing <laughs> show about barbie dolls of high school and i think the wonderful part about these two is that it is not mainstream at all, and it was, it, I wouldn't have known about it unless I heard about it. Yeah, I wouldn't have known about it either, except my, for my sister. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known. Yeah. But um, I will warn you now, if you're not a fan of South Park, if you don't like Adult Swim, don't watch this show. Yeah, it will not be for you. No. Um, yeah, if you're not a fan of any of those sorts of things, as we said before, it does contain crude humour. Um, I think it's more explicit as well. As like, there's well, quite a yeah. lot of sexual humour in there's this. There's sexual, um, there is language. Um, oh, it's just... Th there is no taking off of clothes, though. That's a good thing. Yeah, there's no nudity in there's this. No nudity oh, the one part of nudity in it, and we won't tell you what it is, yeah. is actually, it's it's nothing. It's because nothing. Because they're yeah. Kendalls to yeah. start with. Um, <laughs> you know, like... Um, but they're actually censored. Oh, yeah, no, they actually censor the parts of yeah. this, you know. So it's, it's actually, more the language, I think. It's more the language, yeah. yeah. The language would be the only thing that would, might put some people off. I think watching little, little, like, little nine-year-olds swear yeah. in this would, I, it, some people might go, I don't know about this. But then again, South Park, they were ten, and yeah. somehow it was fine. Well, this, they're just, in this, they are, like, literally just making fun of, what happened to them. And this is it's showing them at nine years old yeah. like, what yeah. happened to them. So but it makes them the way they are. It's 16 parts. The longest one is not even 10 minutes. Yeah. You know, I think 11 minutes or something. And 12, 12 minutes something is the longest one. And I think they're split into, and it's split into two, isn't it? Yeah, like the two part, there is one two parter. But, yeah. And that's split in two. And, you know, I think this is something that's a bit of an internet phenomenon that yeah. will then become literally quite big. And yeah, I think it's actually already taken off because they've got their own hashtag. Yeah, they've got um, a hashtag on face on on, uh, on YouTube. Twitter. On Twitter, but they're like tagging on YouTube and they've got their own clothing line already, which yeah. was like, whoa, okay. So and twenty five bucks a T shirt plus postage. Yeah. They're doing well, quite well. So they must be doing The underwear was sixteen dollars. Yeah, I didn't get to see the price. <laughs> so um I uh, wanted one that said growler on it. Yes, there's a reference in it. Yeah, but I didn't, we will, I didn't hear we will the not, reference. I, I'll, I will tell you later what it is, Lisa. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I personally, I don't know, what score would you give it, Kelly? I'd give it an 8 out of 10, personally, because I actually like how clever it is. Yeah. I think it's just really done so well. It's just very clever. like um, so, And just the pop <coughs> culture references in it that come from left wing that you don't think were going to be in there, like the one about the gremlins. Yeah, the, the gremlin reference is very, very good. It just comes out of nowhere. The gremlin reference is, yeah, I think that's one of my favourite. Yeah. I, I, personally, I'd give it probably a 7 out of 10. Yeah. More the fact that I did enjoy it, I found it really funny, but at the same time, it's not something that I would sit there religiously every week and yeah. watch. 
I think this is something I'd sit down, down when I'm really drunk with friends and watch because it would be even funnier. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, I don't get drunk personally, so... Yeah, um, Kelly doesn't drink, but I do. Yes. Yeah, so but, um, you know, like, if someone said to me they'd let their 15-year-old watch this, I'd be like... Well, see, if people... I'd have to... I, I think they'd be okay. Yeah, 15 year old would be alright, but if they said they were to let their 10-year-old watch it... No. No. no that would no, not be okay. If anything with the under, like, 15... Yeah, no. I wouldn't... Like, this is like an M15 plus yes, thing. exactly. At least, and... You know, but I... I, I enjoyed it. You I know? enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I we, was we pissing say, myself laughing yeah, quite yeah, a lot with it. Yeah. Uh, and the pop culture references that just come out of nowhere as well. I, and I just the fact that. that it's made from cheap knockoff Barbies, yeah. not real Barbies. Yeah. And there's even a bright stole in there. Yeah, exactly. That Lisa actually picked up on. I didn't actually pick up on that. It's the eyes. Lisa just knew straight away. She was like, oh, look, there's a bread stole. And I'm the one that doesn't have a child. <laughs> no, <it is> not <laughs> <you>. <laughs> All right, that is So um, what we'd like you to do is to like the video, comment below, and subscribe to our channel. Um, we aim to do a next another video, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Yep. And um, don't forget our Facebook page. Yeah, don't forget our Facebook page and our Twitter right at Nerdy Herd with an A. Okay. Um, and also we have a Tumblr as well, um, the Nerd Herd on Tumblr. Yeah. And on Facebook. So thanks for that, guys. Thank you. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye, Nerders. Lisa out.